up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a film review for Alien Covenant. Now this is a direct sequel to Prometheus which was released in 2012. Now both this film and uh, Prometheus was directed by Ridley Scott. And you know of course Ridley Scott directed the first Alien film. And again Prometheus and Alien Covenant they are con connected to the overall like Alien film series. Because I think this is actually like the sixth film overall in the series. But the thing about it, they're actually like prequels to the overall like Alien film series. It's like telling the events that lead up to the original Alien film. Now this film, it stars uh, Michael Fassbender as a uh, Walter, and he also plays the uh, the other android known as a uh, David. So he plays like actually like two like droids in this film, you know. So I'm, I don't want to touch on too much because I want to ruin you, you know. Then you have a uh, Captain Watterson as a uh, Daniels. You have a uh, Billy Cobdrup as a uh, Christopher Allround. And you know, uh, that's like really like the main like bulk of the cash, you know, I'm not going to really touch on them because it's really, you know, you could tell it's really it's like ended up Michael Fassbender's character, which is really Walter, but he's also like David too as well, you know, it's like the bulk of the film, you could tell clearly that this is really his film from my opinion, you know. But anyway, the film opens with like the spaceship, calling the spaceship known as Covenant, and they're heading for like a, like a thing like a far off like planet in the galaxy which would take them, I think, like years or something like that to get to, if I'm not mistaken. Because I think it's like in the, uh, the 22nd century, too, because like 21, I forgot the exact like year, but it was like 21-something. But anyway, they are heading for like a, uh, like a planet that's kind of like far off in space. But then they discover, you know, like this like signal that tells them, like, you know, they, they can connect that it's actually like a human being, you know, because they recognize like the song, you know, that it's like a distress signal. So they decide to check out this one location, this other planet, which is supposedly uninhabited, you know. So once they get there, you know, they find that they find like all like vegetarian and stuff like, you know, with like vegetation, like weed and stuff like that, which only, which comes from like earth, you know, so that was kind of odd off the bat right there, you know. But then once all, once they get there and notice that, you know, like they start getting into like conflicts while on this planet, they get into like trouble, you know, with like a, like a couple of the crewmates, actually two of the crewmates, you know, of the Covenant, they get affected with some kind of like a gassy like type thing that comes out like this, um, it's not really an egg, but it's like some kind of like shell looking thing, because one of the guys that went in their ears, then one of the other guys that went in their nose, you know, so whatever this was, it gets inside these people, you know, and it affects them, you know, and they get all sick and stuff, because the first guy, you know, that gets sick, you know, he's taken on board, back on board, like the ship, not really the Covenant, but like one of like the ships that left from the Covenant that took them to the planet, you know, and then it took, like, oh, this it's kind of like alien like type creature, like, busts out of them, you know, and it looks like, like the traditional alien, but it's not really like the, the you know, the actual aliens, like the xenomorphs that we know, you know, but it looks like it looks almost like the one that was on Prometheus. And it busts out him, and that's when everything like goes berserk and everything. But then, like, this droid shows up, you know, they can't tell that he's a droid, you know, but it turns out that it's actually like David from Prometheus, you know, remember how he was like the last one I think this, that was left or something like that. It turns out that it's him. He takes them to like shelter, you know, he tells them what happened and so on and everything like that. Then, you know, like I said, if you go into too much, you kind of spoil the film, you know. But then eventually they had to uh, get off this planet, you know, they had to survive, you know, because everything gets like, you know, chaotic basically, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, and I, I don't want to touch on it too much because it kind of ruined the film. But overall, I, I enjoyed this film, you know. I thought this was a, uh, because I'm a fan of the original Alien and the second Aliens film, you know. But I prefer like the, the actual really Scott Alien film, so I knew off the bat that you know I probably would kind of like this one a lot, you know, because like it, it did have like that slow pace of like the original Alien film, which I thought was kind of cool, you know, interesting like the slow build up, you know. It didn't and not to spoil it, you know, you don't really. Uh, I'm not gonna really say that, you know, I'm gonna touch on that because it kind of like ruined it, you know. But um, I'm not overall I thought it was cool. I like I like the music they had and they had like, the actual soundtrack. From the original Alien film, like that slow paced music, you know, they had that playing throughout the film, so I thought that was kind of cool. And again, like I said, this is really easily Michael Fassbender's like movie, you know, because he's playing like two drawers, you know, he's playing Walter and he's playing David, so you know, it's kind of cool seeing them like interact with each other, you know, I thought that was kind of interesting. Now, at times it could be kind of dull, you know, and I was like, I wasn't really into all that, you know, but I thought it was okay, you know. Now, I must admit, uh, like I said, like, also at like, the end of the film, I thought it was kind of cool where they're actually like fighting like like the aliens and stuff. I thought that scene was kind of awesome, you know, because it was kind of tense and you get to get get to see like a lot of good shots of like the alien, which were like cool, you know, it was like, like close up like with the alien like, walking and stuff like that, or just crawling and stuff. I thought that kind of stuff was like awesome because the alien looked cool, you know. But like the flaws I thought this film had was like, um, at times, like like the, the actual location of the alien, you know, how could the alien be here, you know, when it when it wasn't an alien there? So I thought that was kind of off, you know. 
personal thing too. Now it was supposed to like, uh, if I heard right, like 2,000 colonists, 2,000 people on board the covenant, but you <laughs> you don't see these people at all, you know, so I thought that's kind of odd, but I could have heard it wrong, you know, but it, but yeah, it's supposed to like 2,000 people on board the covenant, but you don't really get to see them at all, you know, so I thought that was kind of interesting, you know, I mean, it kind of like a flaw, basically. Then uh, they had like this cameo with James Franco, which I thought was kind of like pointless and like wasted, you know, that he did his cameo was like short, short, you know, it didn't really make any sense why would Ridley Scott film it, do it, do it like that in that manner, you know. But in that overall, I thought this was a pretty entertaining film, you know, I enjoyed it. It has like a slow pace to it, so you actually have to be, you know, be prepared for that. And like I say, and it's very similar to the original Alien film by Ridley Scott, very similar to that, you know. Like especially like the ending of it and stuff, you know, it's very similar to that, you know. So I think if you liked that, you would like this one a lot, you know. So yeah, in the end, uh, I'm giving an Alien Covenant, and it definitely needs room to like, like room open for like a number because they do pose actually make more of these that will actually lead more and more closely to the original 1979 Alien film, you know. They pose actually lead right really more into that, you know. But then I'm giving an Alien Covenant, I'm giving this a B minus, and I recommend it for like fans of like the original Alien film. Or if we're just fans of like uh, these the alien series in general, you know, I would definitely recommend all like our science fiction fans, you know. Even horror because the film could be very gory too as well, you know, I must admit. It is like very like gory and like violent, even like the profanity in it, you know, it's like it's like a lot of profanity in it, you know. But I'm okay with that kind of stuff, you know. But then I'm giving an alien covenant, I'm giving this a B minus, and this is my review for alien covenant. Alright, please subscribe to my channel.